Hey guys, Brian here and Bailey. The uh, my package from Gentech arrived today. Uh, I guess none of us could read. It says inspect for damage before accepting. The uh, crate, everything here looks good, but uh, the guys that uh, definitely couldn't read here on this uh, do not stack. I'm pretty sure that they put something on top of this to flatten this out, but it doesn't appear to be any damage to the container, so I think it's okay. So I guess I'm going to get this top off here, and hopefully there'll be a lifting eye, and I can get this lifted off. Okay, so it's off the truck and the package has been unwrapped. We've been going over this thing, checking it out. Got a nice fabricated cap bank in there. Sorry about that, my battery went dead, so I went and worked on the barn for a while while it charged back up. Anyway, here's the actual phase converting part of this deal got the capacitor bank which is pretty nicely made i've uh, got a bracket everything for these to slide into i'll show you my old phase converter here in a minute what's different about it and then uh, they've got this wired up on this converter you're supposed to hit start on here to start it now if I mount this in the roof that's gonna be a problem I'll have to uh, remote mount this switch or something to turn it on and off I actually prefer to have this is set up to where it's got single phase power feeding through it all the time but I find usually because of the caps you don't get balanced power voltage on those when these are when this is either running or off one or the other so I don't like to run any single phase stuff off of a phase converter I prefer to have separate power feeds for that. So I'll just use this for three phase power. I may even run it into a transformer and bump it up to 480 volts so I don't have to run as big a gauge wire all through my shop since it's going to be a lot of foot and a lot of high amps. But uh, the sun side, input lugs uh, for one, two, and three. For the three phases got some grounds down here all looks pretty nice it does have some electronics in here i didn't have any electronics in my other one so we'll see how that lasts uh supposedly they have these uh set up to close in some more capacitors for really hard starting loads to uh make them start better so that'll be interesting to see uh I don't know how many of you out there would like to see me uh, hook this up in here to see, do a comparison between my old 30 starting the mill and this 50 that's supposed to be able to kick ass at starting heavy loads, uh, which it should be better just because of the fact of it being bigger. But then uh, supposedly this technology here also helps with hard starts too. Uh, whether it does or not, or it's just a sales gimmick, can't say. I guess I'll find out later on, but uh, that's what they claim anyway, is that it's supposed to be a lot better for hard starting. So, otherwise, uh, got a nice enclosure on here. Everything looks pretty well made. U.S. done. Got the Okay, so there's that big, beautiful 50 sitting down in there. I will yeah, it doesn't show up. 
Hey, you can you can see it there. Uh, they've built this nice enclosure and gasketed the air filter here. It sits on top of this so that the engine pulls clean air, but uh, looks like they need to invest in a caulk gun. You can see the you can see the daylight coming in down there. We got about quarter inch gaps in the enclosure on the bottom where it can suck dirt and stuff in. Uh, I'll take a little RTV and go over that, seal it up. But uh, for what these cost, they ought to be able to invest in a caulk gun and seal them up from the factory. I mean, they got nice foam gasket and the motors mounted on rubber and everything, so they've done all that good. They just skipped a part. Out is over here on this tag. They've got the, this 50 unit here listed at 120 amps, three phase. And I don't know what that's about. I'm sure that can't be the the output of this, so I don't know what that's supposed to reference to. Uh, I don't think it's the input either, uh, because your input would not be three phase. So maybe somebody from American Rotor, if they see this, they can uh, comment on that and clear that up. What that actually references to. Uh, I think on their page they actually list the the output amps for a 50 to be like 65 is what it can actually produce. Um, they also they give a max load here in horsepower, which uh, that'd be a lot better in amps. Horsepower doesn't really mean a whole lot. Uh, an amp rating or kilowatt or something would be more meaningful. But... Uh, yeah, really kilowatts. I mean, I guess you can take the take that and figure the horsepower to watts and then watts to amps from the volts and figure maybe what they're talking about here. But uh, an amp rating, that'd be what I'd like to see. I, I don't know what this 120 is supposed to be. I don't think it's high enough to be what the peak draw is for the single phase. And it's too high for the output, so. Anyway. Now, uh, I'll take you over here and show you my old phase converter. This is my old setup over here. I've got a mains disconnect and my wires come in to the bus bar and then we just got stacks of caps the ones on the left are the balancing caps for the voltage and the ones over here on the right are the start caps there's a timer in there when you throw this it engages the start caps to make the phase converter start spinning up then it kicks out shuts them off and it runs off the other caps so that's how it works I've got the motor lead coming down here to the 30 sitting there on the floor let's see what the amp plate is on it this 30 says uh, 78 amp or uh, 72 amps on 230 so it would not be able to actually produce 72 out so I'm not sure if this is the same values are given on that other motor with the 120 as for what the actual output amperage is and probably I'm gonna say around 50 is probably all the amps you could actually get out of this service uh, in three phase mode so, this is my load panel I use 
to split up all my loads. Got the breakers for the, uh, this one be the mill. Uh, that's the Monarch. Uh, it's probably the injection pump stand. It's got a 15 horse motor on it, I think. No, this is injection pump stand, big wire. Uh, that's going to be probably the grinder and the saw over there. And then I got some extra breakers. So I'll either be moving this panel down there or getting another one. But that's how I had it wired, in, which I do have a single phase light wired in here. The one that's over top of the lathe there comes on when I throw this on. That's the setup. Uh, I know everybody likes the, the safety of the open panels, but I don't get into them. It's not, they're not situated somewhere where chips and stuff are getting thrown into them either, so. Uh, if I do run something that's going to throw anything that way, I, I put something up and put some cardboard up to keep anything out. Normally the panel's on the phase converter one up there. I took it off for filming this, but that's uh that's the new deal so i'll put it back together there and i said if there's interest in me hooking this up it'd be a bit of a pain because the wiring differences between these two setups but i could probably get it hooked up without too much trouble and i may do it anyway because i don't know how long it's going to be before i get the other shop for it. it's using three phase power you know I still gotta get a floor in there pretty much before I worry too much about that. So, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. And I'll talk to you later.